<laughs> I don't know why. I just find this entertaining. <laughs> Howdy everybody out there in YouTube land, this is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler once again from Man Land. And I promised uh, promise you guys and gals out there I'd show you another little neat little trick. Especially for camping and bushcrafting. This little item here may actually come in handy for you. And what it's really handy for is 4th of July, that type of thing with firecrackers. We're going to be making the prison punk out of toilet paper. This stuff works really well. Usually, you know, when you're doing some camping and that type of thing, most people will carry some toilet paper with them. And, of course, toilet paper might be a very valuable resource when you ain't got none. Remember what happened during the opening of the pandemic? This stuff was like gold. For this demonstration, we're going to make just a small section. Uh, this is going to be something that you might be able to use to uh, transfer say an ember from one fire to make another fire that is you know the scenario is you 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 run out of matches or you you know your big lighter quit or uh that type of thing you need to be able to transport transport fire so you're going to use some toilet paper to do this with it's a very effective method and i'm about to show you how to do it now for demonstration purposes i'm going to take about three sheets all we want to do here is just take the toilet paper like so and we're going to twist it the entire length now you can use whatever length you want the longer the the, the longer this uh punk a lot longer this thing is going to burn and i'm going to just twist this be careful you don't want to break it now the thing is you know once you twist this together toilet paper becomes very strong i mean i wouldn't try to use it to escape out of a three-story building or nothing but now we want to take the toilet paper and actually twist it. And as we're twisting, and I see I, we're going to have a breaking point here. We're going to stretch it. And as we continue to, to, to twist, we're going to keep on stretching. And keep on stretching. Now that we've got our center core here, and sometimes you can actually wet this slightly. And I mean, like lick your fingers and smush it around help get a grip on the paper itself but you don't want to get wet that's actually a, a bad thing now our other piece of toilet paper here or booty paper as we like to really refer to I'm going to take about three sheets break it won't use the rest of it here and I'm going to lay this here on a flat surface making sure this is in camera frame and now what we're going to do is produce a shroud or a collar that goes around this and let me get <laughs> stuck to the table here now this is important and this needs to be rolled pretty tightly but yet it's going to be loose and what this does is this protects the center core from the wind and if I take my time I can actually get this rolled correctly and that's the fast and easy way now, what I've done is I've created a shroud for this. And if I want to seal these ends up, again, wetting your fingers just slightly to moisten this, kind of help hold that down. And it's going to evaporate in the wind kind of quickly. So now we have what we call a prison punk. And let me show you how well this works. I learned this technique from an actual ex-convict, somebody that had actually served time in prison. Didn't see this on any YouTube video. And what he used to do, and of course, don't worry, he's a good guy. He is totally reformed and quite a very respectable member of the community now. That was back, way back in the day. <laughs> and I'm not talking about myself. Uh, 
but what he used to do is uh, in in prison it was very hard to get a hold of a lighter and of course when they got a hold of cigarettes they had no way to light it so he uh, more or less learned this technique from other prisoners and he shared it with me and I decided this would be a great bushcraft survival type of gimmick that not just a gimmick but an actual survival tool if you have toilet paper I think you could do this with paper towel as well but what it does is you can actually extend you catch an ember here and you can carry this with you no matter where you go as long as it's not raining or well, of course you could put this in a tin can and protect it while you're traveling but <clears throat> if you run out of matches you know like survivor man did you know he only had like one paper match he was able to split it in two so he had two ways of making a fire but after that how did he carry his fire <sighs> if you happen to be in a bushcrafting type of survival scenario you might not have come across you know some dung to be able to create that ember and carry your fire with you so this is a great technique and it's something you can play with it's pretty safe but it also comes in handy greatly in handy when you're you know, fourth of July and you run out of punk sticks and you still got several fireworks left this works wonderful this is roughly a little over a foot here and uh, I have made some about a foot and a half to two feet and that thing would burn about two hours now don't quote me on that but it burns for a long time what you simply do and I'm gonna use my Zippo lighter is to light one there we go light one end of this allow that outside paper to burn just a bit and then blow it out just like you do a punk and what happens is is that center part that we wound up very tightly becomes the actual mechanism of holding the ember the loose wrap that we put on the outside the outside collar is to help prevent the wind it, it's, it's science somehow now this thing works wonderfully so you could take this hanging on a tree and this thing here will burn it'll probably take about roughly an hour or so for this right here to burn up and you've got an ember ready to go so I could take this and carry it with me some way I could put it in a tin can I could coil this thing up put it in that tin can with a slight lid on top or some way to prevent the rain from getting it and I can carry that with me and this thing's going to continue to burn as long as it's got oxygen and that is fantastic I mean absolutely fantastic now you can see the end the neighbors came back they're really going to turn me in now I know I know you want to actually see me produce a fire well I don't blame you so let's try some charcoal off. there's the the prison pump you've already seen the close-up that's why I'm doing it far back that's it she's ready to go my bird's nest is provided to you today by uh, actual pine straw placing it in there pretty goodly and then this way I don't have to worry about burning myself or breathing smoke again pine straw is a little bit moist easy on camera all right all right <laughs> finally got it man that, that pine straw was determined it didn't want to light up that's why I use a big thick piece yeah so there you go folks <laughs> now we got our secondary fire now guess what there's another option <sighs> Hmm. <laughs>
darn, I really am out of matches. And no lighter. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Let's use it for what it was actually intended for, in prison. To light our smoke. Uh, no, I don't recommend anybody smoking. <sighs> but I do. I'm not sure how they did this. Thank you, Mr. Cell Block DH3. I appreciate the light. Or cell block, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know nothing about prison. And I don't want to find out. But the prison pump does work. Just for what it was intended and designed and created to be. And hey, I found a match. It was in my fire kit the whole time. <laughs> I didn't have to go through all this. I could have used my match. But I lost the box. This is not one of those strike anywhere matches. It's a safety match. And it happens to be waterproof well so Coleman claims <laughs> I think it's a perfect reunion <laughs> isn't that kind of redundant <laughs> but anyway the prison man the prison punk excuse me <laughs> it is very useful in my opinion and I think y'all will have a lot of fun with it too until next time amateur artist Mark D Chandler once again from Manland <laughs> Wishing you and y'all a very happy YouTube experience out there. And remember this, the prison pump. This thing will last an awful long time. And it took me about two hours to get all this thing set up with just one short piece of pump. Sometimes punks can be your friend. Hey, Lefty. We're going to bust out of this joint tonight. It's my last cigarette. Hmm. Oh yeah. And when we're out there, we're gonna get us a lighter. <laughs>